My name is Steve Merlin. I'm here with Joe Frontier. We're gonna we're gonna try to prove to you that uh, coronavirus notwithstanding, you can still make gains and train and, and and be fit and ready to go when this ends and we're back to normal. We're gonna start with mini bands. I'm gonna put it around my toe, both toes. You can get mini bands with greater or lesser um, stretch on them. I tend to value range of motion, uh, more range of motion versus more resistance. So uh, I like the idea of not using a mini band that's so strong that you can't pick your knee up any higher than that. So the first one we're going to do is maybe a wide stance so we have some tension side to side and we have to shift our weight from one side to the other and I'm going to lift my right knee as high as I can. I'm going to try to reach with my left leg or my left arm. So opposed high knee, keeping some tension from side to side and a high reach. We want to get to what Franz Bosch would call the high hip lock position. So we want to really get this hip as high as we can get it and really extend and that reach will help you do that. All right, again with the band still on my, uh, across the front of my, my shoes here, I'm going to do an alternating up and out. I want, to, I want to do this high lift and step out. So in, up and out, like I'm stepping over a beach ball. Step way up and over, ride the balance moment for as long as you can so that you're in control and you're not falling from side to side, but lift that knee up and extend that foot out and work against the resistance of the band. I'm gonna change the band now. I'm gonna put it around my left ankle. I'll turn sideways for a better vision here. I want to be balanced on my left leg. I want to go down as low as I can possibly be here and stay here. I want to, I want to keep this angle assembly pretty constant and now balanced and I want to push back and you could even reach out as you do this. But what we don't want to do is up and down. We want to stay low, do like 8 to 10 reps and then switch the, the, the yeah. band from one foot to the other and uh, ankle and toe. Establish that low position, get your balance point and then reach back and don't fall over. Now we're going to do a, a balanced movement again. And we're going to try to work on the inside of the legs. This is an area with mini bands that often doesn't get reached because if I've got the band around, I'm really working on the outside of my hips more than anything else. So all I'm going to do here is balance, cross this foot over. And so I'm balanced on my left foot. And what I want to do here is pull that toe up to the side of this knee and I probably should throw in a, a reach as well. Uh, let me establish a little bit of better balance first. What you're going to find is arms really matter. They matter when you run. If you tried running like this you'll figure it out. Invite your arms to the same party your legs are going to and balance comes with them. So what we want to do maybe just runner's arms here and you're pulling up, pull up as high as you can and hold for a second. And after about three or four reps, you're gonna to start to feel the adductors on, on your legs go to work. And then you're gonna change and you're gonna repeat the whole thing on the other side and pay attention to differences. So if I find that I'm, I'm having an easier time balancing on my left foot than I am on my right foot, that's good information to have. It might be because you sprained your right ankle, you know, in, in eighth grade and it's still playing you up but anytime you find a difference from one side to the other that's really good information for an athlete to have. Now I'm going to go down to the ground and I'm going to keep the band around my right, uh, the forefoot of my right shoe. I'm going to loop it and try to keep it from rolling around my left knee. Now I'm on my side and I want to Make sure I keep this from rolling, just keep this there. And now with this basis, so here uh, perpendicular to my trunk, I want to extend straight away and I want to reach the top arm over as the top leg 
extends away. And in this case, I think I would try to point through your heel rather than point your toe. You want to, that'll keep the band um, right where you want it. And you really want to extend and take your time on this so when you get here, you experience that feeling of co-contraction and hip lock. 